Welcome back to Maintainer's Garage. I'm Bags. Today we're going to be trying to fix this little hole right here that I think you should be able to see uh, in our leather seat. We're going to be starting in the car, then we're going to pull it out and finish it up because it's going to take me more than one day to do this repair and I'm going to need to drive this thing uh, during that. So the first thing I'm going to do is patch the hole and then I'm going to fill it in and then I'll pull the seat out and uh, leather dye the whole thing. I've done the passenger seat. Well, I, I just dyed the passenger seat. It didn't have any leather repair. So if you want to see that, that'll be somewhere around there. And so, yeah, that's that. So the first thing we're going to do is we've got a 3M kit that I don't have in front of me that I'll get now. So I've got this little 3M kit and I'm going to try it. Uh, it's got some good uh, adhesive for this and then I need to cut out a piece of backing material. I, I've got a pair of old jean shorts. I'm going to cut out a small section and put it under the uh, repair to kind of give it a reinforced back. And I am not going to use the colors inside of here. Uh, I, pl I played with them before this, uh, before I started this and I can't get the color quite right and I've got dye but the dye won't work on the color filler they have in here. It's not dyeable. So we're, I've got some more leather filler coming from the interwebs and that should be here tomorrow and we'll be able to uh, you know keep on keeping on but I can still start the repair without that at this point. The biggest thing they say is talking about cleaning so I'll take an alcohol pad I'll clean this area and I'll actually clean up under it uh, inside where the small patch of gene material is going to go. That way the adhesive has a good place to bond to. And yeah, I know this isn't the easiest way or smartest way to do this. I like trying to buy stuff off the shelf. Sometimes that works out, sometimes it doesn't. So, you know, I bought this thinking I'd be able to, thinking that they would have a filler inside of here. Well, the filler is the, what am I doing? Pull this out. All these colors uh, in this bag those are the filler. So you've got a couple of two uh, little uh, buckets of adhesive, but all these colors are the actual filler and they want you to mix it. And I've tried mixing the dye with the filler and it just don't mix. And I put it on a uh, piece of material, let it dry and see if I could dye it. And I can't dye it after the fact. So we're just going to get some good old fashioned leather filler from the internet and uh, go that route don't know what you don't know. I didn't know that wouldn't work this way. And yeah, this is nine bucks. So not so bad. Then $10 off the, uh, on the leather filler off their internets. So 20 bucks, if this works out, won't be too horrible. The dye I've already had that came from leather doctors. All right, we're going to get this uh, cleaned up. Zoomed in a little bit here so you could hopefully see this a little better. We're just going to take one of these little leather, <laughs> leather. We're going to take one of these cleaning wipes wipe inside our outside and then we're going to wipe a little bit on the inside just trying to prep this area up if you want a good bond on anything getting it good and clean is always the first step we'll just wipe that real quickly with our little wipe here so i've got a little piece of jean material and i'm going to put that on the inside of this that way, and I got a pair of uh, little tweezers here to try to help me. That way, this uh, the leather will have something sort of stiff to glue down to, and hopefully, this is uh, you can see this and. You don't want to glue the material down to like the seat foam. You just want that kind of free floating to give this backing. The reason you don't, you don't want to glue that uh, material, that backing material down. If this is the seat, if this blue rag is the seat foam, this is, my hand will be the uh, backing, that blue jean material, and this will be a leather. You want those two bonded to each other. You want those to be able to move freely above the foam. So that's more natural. 
like this is not this whole section is not glued down to that foam so you don't want to glue your backing material to the foam you want to let it free float and then you'll just basically end up gluing it to the leather itself all right so we've got our jean material down in the hole we're just making sure that it's flat you don't want it bunched up on this edge or this edge or anywhere so when you put this down flat like that it will be flat and stay flat all right so now we're going to put some of this uh, on the inside here we're going to put it actually on our jean material and on the edge of the leather that way you can get a good bond between the two of them and as you can tell I'm being pretty liberal with it um, I want this to bond to that and work pretty well so no point to uh, put no point to having uh, you know none of it but I am spreading it around in here now I'm not trying to just glump it up now we're going to push down this one side and smooth it out and try to get it as flush as possible and then now that that's down we'll do the other side and I'm pushing on the repair kind of pulling it to try to get it straight and even yeah and I'm just going to put a dab over the top of it just to kind of fill that in heck I might not even need the leather filler but we'll see and then uh, yeah this has an angle to it so I'm using that angle as a scraper kind of like to feather it out yeah yeah that's the ticket yeah that I think that worked out pretty well um, yeah I don't want to mess with it too much it's got to take it's got a four hour cure time minimum so we're gonna leave that come back in four hours and see where we're at which is tomorrow for y'all <laughs> which is tomorrow for me uh, you know almost now for y'all obviously we're back in the garage now because we got to uh, play with our chair a little more but I just wanted to say hello and this is one of the reasons why I haven't been making videos as often as uh, normal because my puppy me and my wife got a puppy a few months ago and puppies are a lot of work but this is Kobe K-O-B-Y and Kobe says hello and Kobe wanted to say thanks for uh, watching and liking and commenting on the videos and subscribing he appreciates it and so does his dad but we're going to uh, continue on the seat I just wanted to say hello and nothing wrong with showing a cute puppy to say thank you right right so we're back on our uh, driver's seat of our LX470 and got it in the garage now uh, after I did the repair I was looking at it and feeling it I think I'm going to need to put some filler in it I'm not exactly sure yet uh, I've got some 500 grit sandpaper I'm going to sand on it and see how it comes out and I'll bring you in a little closer to show you what I'm talking about all right so we're up close and personal with the seat now um, my repairs right here I'm going to try to bring you in a little closer yeah I think that's plenty and you can clearly see you can see the two uh, edges and how they're bumped up against each other but there is a little crevice uh, right in there but before I start trying to fix that I'm gonna try to smooth it out when you rub your hand across it it feels a little artificial so I've got some good old-fashioned 500 grit sandpaper and I'm just gonna lightly sand this I'm not trying to uh, you know remove coats of paint or nothing it's just lightly sanding and we're just gonna kind of go in every direction circular forward backward left right up and down and we're going to take some color off clearly but uh, there's a lot of color missing anyway so that's not a big problem there 
and oh yeah that's better and this isn't going to be a perfect repair it's really not but it'll be much better than it was and if I can do you know a decent job on this you should be it because I'm an idiot and you're not you should be able to do much better than me so if I can do this you absolutely can do this yeah that's uh there we are that's mucho better all right so now we'll back by that back out of this all right so now we've got to apply our filler 3m kit did not come with filler and i want to apply some filler um so i bought some heavy leather filler from the interwebs i'm going to use the same little spatula deal that came with our 3M kit and the seam runs this way and let's see if I can get that a little eh, yeah so the seam runs this way so my goal is just to fill in this crevice of the seam and have it as smooth as possible with the surrounding surface so less is more here and uh, it takes about two hours to cure but what you can do is you can just apply a little bit uh, heat it with a hair dryer and then apply a little more and all I'm doing is I'm just going straight up the chute here trying to uh, get it covered and then I'm coming back and I'm scrape uh, I'm scraping the excess off at an angle See, I'm scraping the excess off at a different angle, trying to get as much excess off as possible. And there looks like there's a little hole right in there, but that's okay. And now we can hit it with a hair dryer. I have a hot air gun, so we're going to be super careful. But we're going to hit it with a hair dryer to dry it off so we can apply another layer. And I have my finger down here so to ensure if it's not getting too hot. If my finger's too hot, then it's too hot. And another tip, and yeah, just a tip. If you get one of these heat guns, when you get use it, get it hot, this metal end is going to be really, really hot. So when you're done, leave it on the cool setting to cool it off. So that way later when you kick it or grab it or touch it, you don't burn the snot out of yourself. All right, so this has uh, been heated with an air dryer, a heat dryer for f about three minutes. Then I let it dry for about five. It's dry to the touch. There's a slight little void in there, that's no problem. That's why we're just going real thin coats. Less is more with this, so we'll apply another coat. And we're basically gonna apply it the same situation, just straight up the chute here, trying to uh, fill in the gaps and straight back down and scrape off the excess. Get it off our little spatula here. All right, and if we end up with a little excess when it's all said and done on the edges, no worries, we can sand it right off. All right, so we got another coat in there. So we'll hit that with the uh, dryer. All right, same situation, dried with a gun, dried with a heat gun, let it air dry. I can still feel just a little bit of a crevice, so we'll just keep going maybe I could go you know this would be a faster process if I use more product but uh, in the instructions it says less is more thin uh, a whole bunch of thin coats is better than a couple of thick coats and clearly they make the product so I'm listening to them and I went a little excessive on the edges on that one we'll just take a damp rag and wipe up around the edge there clearly there is a pattern here all right so after that coat's thoroughly dry i'm rubbing my finger across this and i can just barely feel it sometimes you want to use a couple different fingers and a couple different spots because you know as you touch stuff like i got a blister on this hand from you you know uh, exactly and uh that'll affect your feeling so you want to make sure you're trying to see if it's level you use a couple different fingers and a couple different spots on your finger and we just got a little spot right 
just it's just a little low I think one more coat and we'll be in there so for the I think this is the fourth coat I'm honestly not sure it's either the third or fourth so we'll just put that in come up to shoot with it scrape off all the excess on the sides You know, the little excess that's on the edges here won't be a big deal because you're going to, I'm going to hit this real quick with some sandpaper when it's all said and done to, uh, you know, make sure it's 100% smooth. And I'll, I'm sure I'll say this again. I want to say it now. I'm not going to be repairing all of this. I'm just, I'm going to be dying it just like I did in my other seat. So I'm, the only reason I'm putting the effort on this particular tear was it just looked really bad all this other stuff I'm okay with dryer yet again yep I think we're in there and when does it become creepy how much I'm touching this just asking for a friend so there's our zoomed out look uh, as stated rubbing it way too much and caressing it way too softly and, and caringly that thing feels perfect I don't feel anything in it we can uh, get super close and yeah that's a-okay by me at this point you want to wait two hours for it to dry you know this car's got 227 or 228 thousand miles on it I'm not worried about trying to fill in all these things it's okay I did the passenger seat I like how it looks today I liked how it looked then so I'll throw a picture in here for that too so yeah I just that tear just needed to be repaired and if I'm repairing it I might as well repair that tear as good as I possibly can all right we'll be back it's the next day our repair is completely dry it was dry yesterday but you know got to go to work so it is today now before we start trying to dye all this we're going to have to clean it uh, 50 percent simple green 50 percent water works really well as you saw on the close-up on this seat there's a lot of uh areas where the leather the dye is flaked off so i'm going to use a, a, a little scouring pad to kind of help agitate all the extra stuff off so that way as i dye it you know it won't and no more will flake off that wasn't going to flake off if that makes any sense you know it's kind of like prepping the area for paint you want to get loose rid of all the loose stuff so that way the dye sticks good and you just soak this thing down and you're going to not see any more of this because this is a simple thing. You soak it, scrub it, dry it, make sure the seat is thoroughly dry before you start applying the dye. All right, so in cleaning this, I found another little hole. I'll uh, move the camera around and show you that. Son of a motherless goat. Yeah, so uh, there's our little hole right there. Uh, looks like you can see it. Uh, this is a tiny little hole. I don't think trying to glue anything down or apply a fabric patch underneath it, because I'd have to make that hole bigger. I'm just going to try to put some leather filler right on top and see if that gets us where we need to be. It was still damp when I uh, started feeling around, so I hit it with a heat gun, make sure it's all it's dried out now, it's much better. And we're going to use our same little spatula, same uh, leather filler and same kind of uh, diagonal motion across it and I went a little further around this than I normally would on like on that because there's an actual hole here so I'm just trying to uh, make sure I get it filled in we'll hit that with the heat gun and rinse and repeat all right and we'll just do that again just like we did this we'll do real thin layers and until it's uh filled in all right we're just going to check and see how flush it is i'm having a hard time feeling that but i'm probably going to go one more layer just to make sure it's full and it's interesting my pinky as I was doing this my pinky felt uh, 
a divot right in here. Yeah, I can feel it with my pinky. I can't feel it. Nope, I can feel it there. So on a repair yesterday, it might have shrunk or I might have missed it. There's a slight little divot right here. I'm going to fill in two when I do this. Hey, no point in, uh, you know, not trying to do a good job, right? If you, you feel something, you're like, hey, I could have done that a little better. Uh, better now than when you've got dye on there to try to fix. So we'll put a little bit of filler on this. That. Yeah. See how that goes. Wipe our little uh, spatula off. And dry both of those. I think, yeah, we've definitely taken care of that little divot there. That's gone. I'm not sure that's filled in. It just feels like a little... I just feel a little divot. So we'll apply one more coat to that. I think I feel a slight bump, which is good. That way when this cures, hopefully it'll shrink down and all I gotta do is take a piece of sandpaper and wipe it across and we'll call that good. And yeah, that one's, it's better than, yeah. Like I, I don't know why I couldn't see that divot and it might have just been that this cured for the two hour time frame and shrank just a little more that's why you want to make sure your stuff cures before you uh you know get into it make sure it's good all right well we'll come back in a couple hours and uh, redo this which will be tomorrow excellent <laughs> okay so we're uh back dry completely we're caressing our uh, leather again that feels perfect now that uh, little indention's gone this is actually slightly raised but that's fine we thought that uh, might happen we got our 500 grit sandpaper again we'll just hit that real quick yeah same with this and that's now perfect. All right, and we'll just wipe that off real quick. We cleaned it already, so now we can apply dye. And we've got the Seat Doctor's leather dye. We've used this on a, our, our passenger seat. This is our driver's seat. So we know it matches perfectly. We don't have to do a test sample or anything. We'll just get a blue wipe. Take the snot out of this. Now we're just going to, you know, make it look better. It won't be perfect, but it'll be a lot better. And a little dye goes a long way. So you just a couple little uh, dips there, and it's the same thing. That, and what you're doing is just rubbing it in. And you're going to rub it until you think it's taken as much as it can possibly take. Uh, what will happen is once it absolutely has taken as much as it can take, it'll start coming, the dye will start coming off. And that's when you know that it's like, okay, I'm done with this coat. You just, you wanna go in every single direction to fill every single crevice with dye. You know, it's omnidirectional. You just keep applying dye And down in here is always kind of rough. So you want to make sure you really kind of shove the rag in there and get it going. And le this situ it's another situation of less is more. And, you, you know, you can try to just soak this thing and die immediately, but that's not the best way to get the best result, in my opinion. Your mileage may vary. All right, and we're just keep going here. And you can wear gloves. Uh, this dye will come right off. So it's not like uh, if it gets on your hands, it won't wash off. It washes right off. And if you notice, I'm pulling it off this leather filler. Uh, as I've gone over it a couple times, it's starting to come off. So I'm going to need to go across it and just let that dry a little bit more. Same situation there with that uh, leather filler. You just want to put some dye on it and let it dry. We'll just keep uh, applying around. 
Now, that was a big spill. I missed the rag totally on that one. Rotate your rag. See if that's dried. Yeah, that's dry enough to take a little more. Yeah, I think that's enough to, and uh, we'll hit it with a uh, heat gun to kind of accelerate this a little bit. We're gonna go over this for a minute or so, help dry it up so we can apply another coat. All right, we've uh, given this about five more minutes to dry. If you notice, and it's hard to notice that, you know, this isn't uh, a 100% match smoothness wise. It's actually a little smoother than everything else. I think that's gonna be okay. And then, when, but this repair, it's interesting. There's a little crease in it. That crease just kind of never, I, could, I can't feel it, but I can see it. We're gonna, we're gonna keep going, see how it looks. We may end up doing something with that. We may not. Just telling you what I see, you know. No, I don't wanna BS you. And basically just apply another uh, coat to the whole little panel. And like I said, we're just working this whole little section right here. And this is gonna be a uh, rinse and repeat situation. Apply, dye, rub it in. Once you think you, you've got a good coat on, hit it with the heat gun, apply dye, <laughs> rub it in. Once you think you got a good coat, hit it with the heat gun. Yeah, I think that, I think that's a pretty good coat. We'll hit that with the uh, gun, let it dry for five minutes, and apply another coat. All right, so we've done our second coat, hit it with the heat gun, gave it five minutes. It feels good, dry to the touch. This. This repair, I'm pretty happy with. This one, I don't know. It's um, it's not looking great. It doesn't look horrible, but I was just hoping it would look a little better. However, I'm not gonna do anything till I get all this in, and I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit more. And, uh, you know, sometimes you also have to know, hey, if it's not perfect, is it good enough? And you have to understand what you're trying to do. I'm not trying to restore this seat to factory original. So at some point, I'm gonna to have to look at it and, and ask myself the question of how much more energy, time, and effort do I wanna spend on it? But yeah, this uh, die, man, I like it a lot. It's easy to work with. Flip that around and yes, I am a pig pen, <laughs> but that's all right. Uh, I don't mind getting a little dirty, but you know, that's between me and the boys. <laughs> all right. I don't see any spots that look like they've been missed. We're gonna hit this with a heat gun, give it five minutes, but then we're, I'm gonna zoom in a little more to uh, give you a little more up close and personal about that whole thing. This is the repair that the little burn hole or whatever it was, the little hole that uh, I just put a little bit of filler in. I'm ecstatic with how that came out. I mean, you really got to scrutinize that uh, to see it and understand it. And I, again, I wouldn't touch that for nothing. This. There's a raised edge, and yeah, the camera's not exactly perfect. There we go. There's a raised edge right here that is bothering me, and I just don't know if I should sand it or not. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hit it real quick and see what happens with the sandpaper, and we'll go from there. You know, as I said, sometimes you want to leave well enough alone, but sometimes it's okay to try just a little bit. I'm not trying to be too crazy here. I just, you know, if I, I think I can make it look a little better. And if I can, without, you know, a Herculean effort, that's what I want to try to do. And you can sort of see where I'm sanding off that that kind of shows you where the high spot is. So I think, yeah, I'm going to I'm going to clean this up uh, with a damp towel to ensure that I get all that stuff off of it. And 
then I'm going to uh, hit it with a heat gun and I'll zoom back out here and we'll see what it looks like. All right, I repositioned the camera just a little bit. So I'm going to zoom in on this and as stated, this uh, little repair right here, super perfect. That uh, just, I don't know, just didn't quite look right, but it seems like I might have taken that ridge off. So we're going to apply some dye and I'm going to leave it zoomed in. I'm just going to apply dye over the whole uh, panel again. Probably don't need to, but just going to just cause. And you know, same, same, same situation. Just, just a little coats, just a little bit of dye, rubbing it in, working it around. And because of the sanding, I may have to apply a couple more coats because it just, it looks like, you know, as we saw earlier, the filler, you hit it, it takes a little longer to absorb in than the leather, and that's all right. All right, so we'll uh, hit that with the heat gun and try again. All right, so that's all dried out and cooled down. This feels a little better right off the uh, hop, so that might be okay. So we'll uh, just apply a little more dye here and see what we look like. Oh, and I don't know if that, that little spot right there that just pulled up, that trying to let you know when you get, when you, one of those little things happen, can you see that? Yeah, when one of those little things happen, you're pulling up the old dye. Just accept your uh, situation, needs to dry a little more, try again. So we're gonna hit it with a heat gun again, let it cool down for five minutes and try again. All right, uh, we've given it, you know, hit it with a heat gun, gave it about 15 minutes to really cool down and try to dry off. I think this is gonna be okay. We're gonna keep uh, applying a little more dye to get the color uh, right in because there's just a couple small voids inside of there. But I think that little light sanding is going to take care of us. And, uh, you know, not trying to beat a dead horse, but, you know, if, if, if you think you can make it just a little better with a little effort, do that. But, you know, j there's a fine line of going down the rabbit hole of absolutely making the situation worse instead of making it better. You know what I'm saying? And that's where you just got to kind of play with it with yourself and say, all right, how much of this do I really want to mess with and how much do I want to try to do? All right. And I think we've got color all the way in there. We're going to hit that with a heat gun and then uh, let it dry for five minutes. Okay. So we've uh, let this dry. It's cooled down. Uh, I'm going to need to touch this up, but my whole plan was to apply a couple coats to the entire seat today. Give it about five to six hours to cure. Do another coat today. You just kind of got to let it sit for 48 hours because of a absolute cure. You don't want it to transfer to clothing or anything like that. And that's all right. That's a, I planned for that. That's in their instructions. So, But I think this is okay. Um, maybe another coat of dye tomorrow, or excuse me, maybe another coat of another coat of dye later make it absolutely perfect but i'm gonna dye the rest of this thing uh basically just treat it you know this one panel this one panel this one panel uh, if, but yeah you don't need to see all that so uh we'll just let you come back here in about five hours all right so it's been about six hours six and a half hours uh dried i put it out in the sun for a few hours to help that so we can uh, add another coat to this panel right here uh, I did the rest of the seat. Uh, I don't think I need to do much more there. Just one or two little spots. I just wanted to show you this. That way you could see it. Uh, this, this repair again. Perfect. This one. Not perfect, but good enough. And I'll zoom in on it here. Right there. And that is the other repair right there. Literally, I'm running my finger across of it. Perfect. This is not perfect, but visually and all the other creases inside the seat, uh, like this and this and that, all makes sense. And what I mean by makes sense is, hey, it, it's not a perfect seat, so that spot doesn't have to be perfect. It's a little better than it was, and that's good. All right, so let's throw some dye on this thing, so that way we can knock this out and move on. We'll let this uh, whole seat dry for 48 hours, and then I'll, uh, after I'm 
I got to touch up one or two more spots in the in the seat itself with dye. Then after 48 hours of cure time, I'll come back with a damp rag and just buff the whole seat out. But you'll see that. Um, but yeah, I think this turned out pretty well. With, with a little buffing, I bet it looks really, really great because I found on the last uh, seat, after a little buffing, it actually improved the look. All right, well, we'll see you in two days. All right, so it's been 72 hours. Uh, I tried to do this yesterday. Timing didn't work out. So it's been three days since I applied that final coat of uh, dye. It's totally cured. What they do say you can do is after 48 hours, uh, take a, a damp cloth, slightly damp cloth, buff the whole seat. That's what we're going to do now. And we're just kind of buff, roughing it all up, buffing it all out, wiping the whole thing down. And what you should not see is there should be no color transfer here. And there isn't. And we'll just rough it all up. And yeah, I'm pretty happy with how that repair turned out. I've looked at it significantly. Um, is it perfect? No. Is it good enough for me? Yes. Your mileage may vary. So, but I'll bring the camera up close and show you what I'm looking at and show you what I think and I'll let you make your own opinion and that way you can do you. And I didn't see any dye in that. All right. So I'll bring that camera up and we'll show you this and you can clearly, there was other sections here and a little spot there and on this arm, it was pretty rough. I'll bring that camera in here and show you all that. All right, so there's the arm. It was uh, cracking and obviously you can still see the cracks there, but a lot of the faded uh, dye had come off or a lot of the dye had come off. That's good. And then in this seat, if you remember in these panels, there was significant wear here. A little bit here, some here, a little back here, but mostly on this side. We'll adjust the camera and see that a little bit better. And yeah, this whole panel was pretty rough and that spot right, uh, yeah, right there is just a reflection. The repair I did, the big repair with the tear was right here. And the spot with the hole was right there. And I'll zoom in a little more and yeah, you can just kind of see that's a reflection, that shiny spot. As stated, that's just a shiny spot. That's not where uh, dye didn't take. So yeah, that's the repaired area. And let's dial this light back a little bit. Yeah, I like that. So in the camera that I'm looking at where my finger is, this looks slightly discolored. It's not in person. It's all about angles. When you look, you can see a, it looks a little there and possibly here, but it's really shadows because when you flip it around and you look this way, it all looks good. So I just want to bring you up close because there's that repair. There's the other repair here. They both look great. I'll zoom out a little bit or heck, I'll zoom in a little more. I mean, yeah. You can look at that and go, okay, I see a little something there, but zoomed up when you get that close to it, it stands out. But when you back out and you look at it as the whole seat picture, we'll throw a little more light in the situation. All these crevices and cracks, let me zoom in a little bit, just to get those a little better. Yeah, all these cracks in here and in this seat here and in here, all that makes that one spot blend in. So I'm totally happy with how that repair turned out. It feels okay. That, this one did really great. I mean, when you rub your hand here, I can feel a slight difference. I could have texturized this. There was some texture in that kit. I didn't worry about it. But overall, I'm extremely happy with how the seat looks. All right, so we're just gonna start showing you this whole, this is the, section that I did the repair on. I dyed all of this. We'll zoom in a little bit to get a better look. And this whole thing looks great. I did some uh, dye in here, dyed this arm. All that looks fantastic. 
All right, now we just got to shove the seat into the car. All right, so the seat's back installed, and I'll just say this. If I didn't say it at the beginning, uh, anytime you remove or install a seat, disconnect the negative battery if it's got airbags in it. That way, when you disconnect or connect them, you don't have stray voltages. Make sure you're grounded. Safety Nazi third. So there we go. The seat's back installed in the car. Looks good to go. Looks good with the other one. Clearly, I need to clean the uh, center console. If you can't tell in the camera, it's a little browner. <laughs> but overall, excellent results, just like I did with the passenger seat. And clearly, right down in there was the repair area. And that came out pretty well. So that's our second seat done. All right, that's uh, repairing your uh, leather seat. Had those two spots. The first I knew about, the second we found out about repaired them, dyed it, installed. Looks good to me. Hopefully you found this helpful. And uh, that is the Seat Doctor Leather Dye, the 3M repair kit. And then I had to get some leather filler uh, from the internet to uh, completely, totally be able to do this process. So there you are. Thanks for watching Maintainer's Garage. Have a great day.